Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead. And today we're going to show you how to make a super easy, delicious broccoli cheese soup. It's fast and you can even stick it in a meal in a jar thingy. So this is going to be fun. Now, broccoli cheese soup is one of those things where I think a lot of people get the misinformation that it's hard to make or some mysterious thing is in there. And there's not. It's a really, really basic, easy recipe. And I'm gonna show you how to make it in five minutes. Oh, challenge accepted, sister. Mm -hmm. Now here is our official recipe. We are going to be basically using three tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of chopped onions, three tablespoons of instant milk, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, two and a half cups of water, one cup of Thrive broccoli, one half cup of Thrive cheese, a pinch of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and just a wee bit of oh, pepper. Now, if it was not obvious enough from that last shot, we are using a lot of the Thrive Life ingredients we love them, we sell them, and they're so easy because there's no chopping. There's no, you just grab it and throw it into your recipe. No muss, no fuss. No muss, no fuss. <laughs> so I am going to get out of the way and mama is gonna be the delightful hands in the pot. So I'm gonna grab the camera and, and we're gonna show how to put it together. Yep. Well, not we, she. Yes. I absolutely love the Thrive Life food. Uh, it is super easy to use. There's no chopping, no nothing. It's fresher than the stuff you buy from the store and it is absolutely delicious. So here goes. I'm going to take one cup of chopped broccoli and it's actually really good straight out of the can. For super, snacking? For snacking, it's super crunchy and just yummy. So I take one cup of broccoli and I put it into my one pint mason jar. And then I'm going to take one half cup of cheddar cheese. And this is freeze dried. Freeze dried cheese, yep. Throw it in there. And then I need our onions. So I put the bigger things in first, that way then all of the powders go down into the larger items. Now how much so, onion are we putting in there? I'm gonna only put one tablespoon of onion. Okay. Because when I used two tablespoons before, it was a little too oniony. And then we've got our three tablespoons of instant milk. And this is a whole milk. This is not a non-fat milk. And then our bouillon. We need one tablespoon of bouillon, not the oxygen absorber. There's an oxygen absorber in there. Oops, yeah, we, it just flopped over. Yeah. You can't oh. see it now. There it yep. is. Nope, there it is. <laughs> Yaha. Okay. Now, we need our pinch of salt. Mm, a little more. And then a pinch of nutmeg. There we go. And then a little bit of pepper. See if I can get a pinch there. Perfect. And now we're done. This can be vacuum sealed and put on your shelf. And this serves two adults or three younger children. And it is super, super delicious. You can substitute all of these ingredients for things you can get from the store. Uh, I just really love how easy and quick it is to just scoop it out of the pan, or out of the bucket and put it into our saucepan. All right, so now to make your soup, all you need to do is take some butter, and I've got a couple of tablespoons of butter here. Two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. I used three earlier, and it works just fine. Melt that butter, and this will help to thicken the soup. And you're adding some flour there? I'm gonna add some flour as soon as this butter is melted. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of flour to our butter. And we're gonna let that cook just a little bit, just so it gets that nasty flavor of the flour taste out of there. And this is only gonna take about a minute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add two and a half cups of hot water to our um, butter and flour here. And then we'll go ahead and add our broccoli cheese soup mix. All 
All right, so you're gonna bring this up to a boil and you're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it go, let it simmer for about two minutes and then you're ready to go. And mama has labored to create broccoli cheese soup. Check this out. Ooh, doesn't that look delectable, delightful, and all around awesome? Time to taste. Yeah. Ladies first. Oh, okay. Well, you're Chival the guinea pig, though. Guinea pig, or are guinea we doing pig. chivalry? Guinea pig. Guinea pig. <laughs> all right, but that's kind of cheating a little bit because I've had it before. It's delicious. Well, yes, you have. And the kids had some, and they loved it today. Nice and creamy, mm -hmm. cheesy. The broccoli is in nice sized pieces where it's not like some massive thing you gotta just slam down. I love broccoli cheese soup. This is so good. And it honestly was less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. And it is also cheaper by half. Yeah, per serving. Per serving than Panera's broccoli cheese soup. Yummy. So if it's not already obvious, we really do love the Thrive Life mm -hmm. Foods. And uh, if you're, you know, looking to make some kind of change in the new year, eating a little bit healthier, I mean, honestly, guess what's in this can of broccoli? Guess, just guess. It's broccoli. Broccoli. Just broccoli. Nothing else. Nope. You know. This, this is just onions, and they're already finely chopped. Look at that. Love it. If you're looking to make a change, you're looking to try to eat a little bit healthier. This is a humongously awesome. Uh, option for you and also too I know there's a lot of people that have been contacting us asking about the business side of Thrive Life and I'm here to tell you that it's changed our lives pretty much without a doubt it's it's, it's amazing it's made our daily cooking lives tons easier well and it has also brought in enough income where we can make these YouTube videos for you because I don't know if you guys know this but YouTube doesn't really pay a lot <laughs> Um, but that said, if you're interested in finding out more about the business side, the way I tell people is this, you know, what business can you get into for a couple hundred dollars, couple hundred dollars. And it's not like you pay a fee and then, and then you have to start buying products. No, 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 no. You get a big box of food mm -hmm. and there's a, only like a minimal amount of business materials. But what, a, what other business can you get into for a couple hundred bucks where you don't have to make the product? You don't have to buy the product, store the product, ship, ship the product, product. Mm -hmm. and every person you'll run into needs that product. Not not wants, needs. needs. Mm -hmm. And so we just love it to death. And so if you're interested in finding out more, please go ahead and email me. It's uh, info.bigfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. And uh, we will get you the information that you so seek and desire. Get you the 411. So anyway, I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm Brad. And I'm Kristen. And you guys have an amazing day. Do I have any broccoli in my teeth? <laughs> no, baby. You are broccoli toothless. <laughs> I could try harder. You can. <laughs> I'll just leave it. <laughs>